Hi, welcome to the channel English Professional and let's study all English tenses in one video. So I hope you like this idea and if so, please put a like. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Really, let's do it. Okay, let's talk about, yeah, you see, let's talk about English tenses. So the first tense is present simple present simple it's the main tense in english right it's the main it's the main tense it's the main tense in english it's the most important it's the most important tense you can see some examples i work i study I speak English. I often watch this channel. I like this story. We know it. You help me. They understand us. So you have a subject. You have a subject. And you have a verb. You have a subject and you have a verb. I is a subject. Work is a verb. I work. I is a subject. Study is a verb. I study. I is a subject. Speak is a verb. I speak English and so on. So it's very, very easy. Yes. You need to remember one rule. If you have he, she, it, you add s. So you put s after a verb. After a verb. So, for example, look. He works. He works. She loves him. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't forget to put s. If it's he, she, she loves him, it. It often happens. It's very important. Yeah, sometimes you need to use to be in present simple. So when do we use to be? So there is one rule. If you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb in the sentence, so you use the form of the verb to be. So let's write it down. So if you don't have, if you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb, for example, go, come, go, come, work, and uh, so on, you need to be. You need the form, you need the form of to be. You need the form of to be. So it's am, is, or are. Look, I am at home. So do you have a verb in the sentence? No. Next. So you need to use am. I am. You must remember it. He, she, it is. He is at home. She is at home. It is at home. We, you, they are. We are at home. You are at home. They are at home. So we call this tense present simple or present indefinite. So sometimes you can see that it's present indefinite, but we usually say it's present simple. Okay, more examples. It is interesting. We are so happy. You are very good friends. Okay, next. Future simple or future indefinite. You talk about the future. You talk about the future. Okay, so you talk. You talk about the future. You talk about the future. Will plus verb. I will go there. So, go is a verb. 
We will go there. We will learn English and you will help us. Next, past simple or past indefinite. So you need to know regular verbs such as work, listen, play and so on. So and if you want if you want to say it in past simple, you add ed. I worked. I listened to music. I played the guitar. There are irregular verbs such as go, do, get, become, break, give. And you know you need to know its forms. Look, I went there, so go went gone. So you need to know that uh, went, you know, is a past form. So it's the second form. I went there. I did it. So do, did, done. I got a message from her. Get, got, got. He became famous. Well, present continuous or present progressive. So what's the difference between present simple and present continuous? So present continuous, it's about the present, which is happening now. It's about the present. It's about the present. It's about the present, which is happening. Which is happening. Okay? So it's about the present, which is happening. Which is happening now. So, yeah, it's a very important thing. Yeah, and uh, you know, and you know that we form it this way. Look. M is R plus verb plus ing. Okay, so for example, I am learning English now. So you see M plus verb learn plus ing. I'm learning English now. Now we are making progress in English. It means we are doing it now. It's happening now. So you see R. Because we, because of we, we are make plus in. We are making progress in English. I am watching this video. I'm looking at you. So, look. I watch TV and I am watching TV now. So, you can say now or without now. I watch TV. It means I often watch TV. I usually watch TV. I'm watching TV now. So, it's now. Yeah, M is R plus verb plus ing. So, what am I doing now? I'm recording this video now. I'm teaching English now, right? Well, so next, past continuous. It's for long actions in the past. For long actions, for long actions in the past. Yeah, and how do we form this tense? So, was were plus verb plus ing. I, he, she, it was plus verb plus ing. We, you, they were plus verb plus ing. And there is one typical situation when we use this tense. Look. When I came to the office, she was talking on the phone. So we use it if uh, we have a sentence. There are two parts of the sentence or two clauses with when. So when I came to the office, so the first action is short, short, came. And the second action is long. She was talking on the phone. She was talking, talking, talking on the phone. And then I came. Yeah, it's a short action. And you see the second example. She called me when I was walking in the park. So the first action is short. And the second one is long. So you see, I was walking, walking, walking in the park. It's long action. And she called me. So it's a short action. Okay, what about present perfect? So we form it this way, have has 
plus past participle. If we talk about the past, we usually use past simple. So we talked about it. For example, I did it. I went there. So you know that there are some time markers, time expressions, which tell us that we need to use this tense. Please remember them. I have just done it. So have plus past participle is the third form. So if you have just, yeah, it has this meaning, you need to use present perfect. Already. I have already seen her. I have known him for two years. I haven't done it yet. Have you ever been there? Ever? Yes, if you want to use ever in questions, you also use present perfect. I have never been there. I have never been there. So I wasn't there some time ago and uh, you know it's true now. So you know that when we talk about present perfect there is some connection with the present. So there is a connection. There is a connection with the present. There is a connection with the present. So it's an important thing. So when I was a schoolboy I never went there. So you see that we use past simple because it's a distant past. There is no connection with the present. Well, so what about past perfect? So it's had plus past participle plus the third form. It's one tense. It's one time before. It's one time before. Look, so when I came back, she had already done her homework. Look, when I came back, but she did her homework earlier. So first, first, first she did, first she did, and then I came back, and then I came back. But you have this action in the beginning. So you need past perfect, had already done her homework because it happened earlier. Well, so what about present perfect continuous? Have has been plus verb plus ing. Look, I have been learning English for three years. Have been plus verb learn for plus ing. I have been learning English for three years. So if you have four, you need to use this tense. So, and what does it mean? It means that I started learning English three years ago and I'm still learning it. So we use this tense for things which happened in the past and they're still happening. And uh, you often, you know, you often use for with this tense. Next, I have been teaching English for more than 10 years. That's true. So it means that I started teaching English 10 years ago and I'm still doing it. I have been living in Moscow since 1986. Right. And we also use this tense if we have how long in questions. So how long have you been learning English? How long have you been learning English? Well, future continuous. It's for long actions. It's for long actions in the future. It's for, lang for long actions in the future. So, will be plus verb plus ing. So, I'll be waiting for you. We often use this tense with wait. I'll be waiting for you. It means it's very important. So, it's, um, you know, it's like future simple. It's like future simple. But there is um, a long action. There is a duration. A duration. A duration. Okay? So... I'll be waiting for you. It means that I can say I'll wait for you, but it's okay. Maybe it isn't so important. But if I say I'll be waiting for you, it means that I'm really waiting for it. So it's so important for me. Yes, it's a long action, not just a short one. Okay, next. I'll be waiting for your reply. We often use these tense in this context. I'll be waiting for your reply. I'll be waiting for your comments and support. Well, 
So past perfect continuous. It's, you know, it's like past perfect. It's like past perfect. So what is past perfect? It's one tense. It's one tense before, but you also have four. But you also have four. Look, we form it this way. Had been plus verb plus ing. When I came to the office, she had been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. So it's past perfect for it's past perfect first because this action started earlier. Yeah. So first she first she started talking. First she started talking and oh sorry. Really, I'm terrible. Really I'm really terrible at typing. I started talking and then second I came, I came. So it's like past perfect. And because of for, yeah, so you need to use past perfect continuous, right? So had been taken on the phone for 20 minutes. Future perfect. It's like future simple. It's like future simple, but you have by. So if you have by, you need to use, you need to use these tense will have plus past participle or will have plus the first plus the third form compare i will finish it but if you have by look by next year so you say will have plus past participle i will have finished it by next year so you need more exercises and practice as you say uh, as we say, or as they say, practice makes perfect. And the last one, future perfect continuous. You know, it's like, it's like future perfect. It's like future perfect, but you also have for. So by and for. So look, will have been plus were plus ing. I will have been learning English. So you have by, by next month, so it's future perfect, like future perfect, and for, for two years. I will have been learning English for two years by next month. Okay, thanks a lot for your support, see you, bye. Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally, and this video is all 12 English tenses in 10 minutes, really, just imagine it. And we are going to focus on the formation of these tenses, okay, are you ready? Good. So the first tense is present simple. Present simple. Do you remember how we form it? So verb or verb plus s if it's he, she, it. For example, they check his work. They check his work. Okay? Good. Okay, let's say the same. Let's say the same in past simple, in past simple, so it's easier. So to form past simple, you need to use the second form, uh, the second form. I hope that you remember it. So if we look at this sentence, yeah, so check, next checked and checked. So it's the second form is the same as the third form, yeah, so Okay, so they checked, they checked his work, they checked his work, yeah? So the form is the same for regular verbs, for regular verbs, so if it's an irregular verb, you need to remember this form, yeah? So present simple, uh, past simple, okay, it's easy. So what about future simple, okay? What about future simple? It's also very easy. It's also very easy. So let's say it. So how we form it? Will plus verb. Will plus verb. And we talk about the future. So they will. They will check. Well, they will check his work. They will check his work. Okay. Normally, we use a short form instead of a long form. Okay, so short form. So you say they'll check his work. 
and it's a very good idea to say it this way, it sounds very natural. So they'll check his work. Okay, well done. Okay, next. So you see continuous, yeah? So the next group is continuous. Well, so present continuous. How do we form this tense? Present continuous. It's easy. M is plus R plus verb plus ing. Okay, so I am, he, she, it is, we, you, they are. Look, you can say they are checking, they are checking his work, and it means that it's happening now. It means that it's happening now at the moment. Okay, very good. Okay, what about past continuous? Okay, past continuous. How do we form uh, past continuous? I hope that you remember it. So, it's was or were plus verb plus ing. So, it's a long action. It's a long action in the past. It's a long action in the past. We often use it with when. So, when I came home, they were, they were checking, yeah, checking, so his work, they were checking his work. Okay, so you see present continuous for things which are happening now, past continuous for long actions in the past, yeah, was verb plus verb plus ing, yeah, good, and what about future continuous? Uh, future continuous, and how do we form it? We form future continuous this way. So, will be plus verb plus ing. So, it be used for long actions. For long actions. For long actions in the future. And, um, okay, so, let me give you an example. So, they'll be. They'll be checking. They'll be checking. So, his work, you can say they'll check his work, but it's a short action. If you say they'll be checking his work, it means that it's uh, important, it's important, and it's long action, important and long action. Okay, good. Uh, well done. So, future continuous will be plus verb plus ing. So, next. So, perfect, yeah, perfect. So, it's about present perfect, okay? So, how do we form it? Have or has plus, plus past participle, plus past participle. So, you can say, they have, they have checked, they have checked his work. Normally, we use it with different time markers. So, uh, it's about the past. It's about the past, it's about the past, yeah, so, but um, uh, there is a connection, there is a, a connection with the present, with the present here, okay, it's an important thing, yeah, and we usually use it with different time markers, such as, for example, already, already, just, and so on, so uh, they have, present perfect, they have already checked his work, yeah, it's about the past, when there is connection with the present. So, past perfect, yeah? One more interesting test. So, past perfect, yeah, it's um, about the past, but it's one time, one time before. How do we form it? Had plus past participle, plus past participle. So, you see, for example, he said, he said that, he said that they had checked, they had checked his work, they had checked his work, so he said it's about the past, but had checked, happened earlier, so, and you say had plus past participle, so checked, it's a past participle, okay, past perfect, okay, very good, my friends. Okay, so let's talk about future perfect, yeah? We use it when we talk about the future, I mean, this, te this tense. But the question is, what's the formation of future perfect? It's will have plus past participle. So, will have 
plus past participle and we use it when we have by so you can say that they will have finished they will have checked his work his work by let's say by next week okay so we'll have plus 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 parts possible when we have by okay so what about the group you mean perfect continuous so you know present perfect continuous present perfect continuous we often use it so when we have for when we have for and since so when do we use this tense okay and how do we form it so have has plus been plus verb plus ing for example i can say they have been they have been checking his work his work for uh, 20 minutes for 20 minutes what does it mean it means that they started doing it 20 minutes ago and they are still doing it okay so they started it's a very important thing they started uh, doing it so uh, 20 minutes ago 20 minutes ago and and what and they are still doing it and they are still doing it okay it's a very important uh, point okay and uh, two more important tenses uh, so uh, we call it um, past perfect continuous past perfect continuous okay so we form it uh, have been plus verb plus verb plus ing so they had been they had been uh, checking his work we mostly use it in complex uh, sentences yeah and uh, so future perfect continuous uh, this uh, tense isn't uh, so common but anyway you just need to know this structure will have been uh, plus uh, verb uh, plus ing we use it when we have by and for so for example they will have been uh, checking his work his work so for for uh, 20 minutes uh, 20 minutes uh, by uh, midday for example but midday okay very good so you see uh, the formation and the examples this tense is so common but anyway uh, you need to know them i think so